We are preparing this generation of millennials, hopefully to be customers, clients, and employees of mm -hmm. companies like Scott Trade. And one of the main things we do that overlaps with what you all do is we have the Mizzou Student Managed Investment Fund, which I think you're familiar with, million dollar plus um, assets under management that they manage in real time on Bloomberg terminals in a fully functioning trading room. Do you think that uh, mimicking the environment that they would see here is the best way to prepare them? Do you think that that's uh, what you would have wanted to see in someone coming in the door? Or do you have other thoughts on what it takes to get ready for a career in this industry? Well, I think what you're doing is, is fantastic. It, Thank you. Uh, the, <laughs> the students that have an interest are, have a place to go and, and experiment mm -hmm. and find out what it's all about. I think that's that's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Uh, a couple of other things that, that I would recommend for any student, business or otherwise, would be to maximize the internship capability and get hold as many jobs as you can through college and get out there and get a feel for what you're good at, what maybe you're not so good at, what's interesting to you and what absolutely doesn't interest you. And so I think internships are a great way to figure out what do I want to do when I get out mm -hmm. and maybe even find an employer as I did that I want to go to work for when mm -hmm. I get out. So mm -hmm. I think that's really important and I also think that if you have an interest in, in um, economics or the stock market or finance that you should spend the money to have a subscription to the Wall Street Journal and you should start reading it in college and you should, uh, they're very thick these days. The Wall Street Journal has used to be mm -hmm. 25 or 30 pages <laughs> and you could cover it in, a, in an hour. Well now it's very, very thick and it has so much information. You can't read it all, but certainly to go through and pick out articles that are either educational or of interest. I think is a, a great way to spend two or three hundred dollars a year for someone that's got an interest in finance. Mm -hmm. Well, Scott Trade is really well known for being really on the fore for internships and and much in the partnership that uh, the True Last College Business has with Scott Trade. I know you employ three hundred and fifty plus interns a year. All of our students have to do an internship, largely driven by advice and observation of companies like yours, especially companies like yours that convert those interns into permanent hires, which you do at very high numbers. But I think, so our students, whether they realize it or not, have to have this experience that you were mm -hmm. describing, but that added piece that you're suggesting that they also plug into current events and start to over time develop a sense of how those events relate to each other and what it would mean for the work that they're doing is something that they have to do on their own. And so I think that's really good advice for them to think about uh, leveraging as they look forward for how they would take advantage of their education. So uh, sort of building on that thought, of course, I'm in the education business, and we're very proud that you're an alum of our college, but we always want to make sure, ideally, we would graduate everyone who comes out of the school with the capacity to build and, and, and do something, um, perhaps not quite to the extent that you have it being so remarkable, but that they could do exactly what they want to be doing in the way that you've described. What do you think we need to do as educators to maximize our ability to equip our students to be successful? I think in this day and time, you need to be sure that the students coming out are technologically proficient. Uh, you can't get out of school today and not be intimately familiar with spreadsheets and, and uh, uh, the internet and computers in general and, uh, and software and things that, that are current. Uh, that didn't exist when I was, we had a slide rule. That was. <laughs> our method of I, uh, me too. I solving remember, yeah. problems, and, <laughs> and uh, so I think uh, I think that's something that you just have to be sure they're up on. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Uh, the other thing that I would say is to professionalize them to the extent that you can. And I know you've got one program where you actually try to be sure that they dress right, act right, talk right, know how to converse and, pre and present a professional image. I think that's really important mm -hmm. and uh, they need to walk out of school knowing how to do that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's a huge advantage when you go out and look for a job or your first year or two on the job.